Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Wednesday, no today's Thursday. This week flew by. We have a super fun video for you today because we're gonna show you guys what we do at night. What we do at night when you guys aren't watching. Before we show you what we do at night, um, I want to show you Gabby's new outfit. If you watched yesterday's video, that you, then you know she wanted jeans. And today, she's like, I want to do that again. Like, go back and get more clothes, right? Mm -mm. Like sweaters and shoes. Yeah, she wants sweaters and shoes. And what did you say? Sophie was so fast to get the heck out of the mall yesterday. She went with her dad. What did you say today? I want that sweater. She wants the sweater. I so it's in my color pink. Yeah, so we'll be going back to the mall. Um, okay, so... This is what Gabby got last night. She got another, she got two pairs of jeans. We tried on 27 pairs of jeans. I said, pick the jeans you want. How many jeans did you get? Two. Yeah, she's still picking you guys. But anyway, um, she got these ones at Ardeen's. Oh, <laughs> hello. Are you thinking that you're, look at, she's almost as tall as Gabby. Um, you're not getting enough attention? She wants to be in the vlogs, you guys. She's trying to tell me. Like, mm -hmm, you guys vlog. never put me in the vlog. Oh. Good girl. I thought I'd do her rear. If she rears, she doesn't jump up, she rears. Okay, okay come here. So she got the je these jeans at Ardeen's and she got this hoodie. And she got this hoodie because they had every single kind of sweater I wanted. Like all the sweaters I've been Including looking for. Yeah, I, was, I saw this sweater and I'm like, oh, Gabby, I want this sweater. It was a buy one, get one half off sale. I'm like, pick a sweater, quick. <laughs> um, and the sweater that I got, it's like a, kind of like a tunic, but kind of like a, kind of like a tunic but kind of like a poncho I don't know it's got these big huge sleeves um but it's open at the sides but yeah I love it like I love these kind of sweaters a lot anyway so yeah I, there's another one there's a pink one I want it we're gonna go back I need a pink one all right we should all get matching sweaters yeah. and just let him pick who he wants. I have a dog on me, no wonder. <laughs> he chose me. <laughs> he chose <Woo>! me. <laughs> no, 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 he touched me first. But then he, he chose me. me. Okay, one more time. You bet. You bet. You guys know how I told you that it is my birthday month. It's my birthday month. My birthday is on November the 24th. So for my birthday this year, actually for my birthday last year, I asked for an electric blanket because because I'm always freezing. And now that I have, now that our office is in the back room here, this room it has like the space heater there. But for some reason, this room is always the coldest room. My hands are freezing all the time. The company sent us. This tiny ceramic space heater. How funny that they sent it in November when it's my birthday month. The thing that I like about it is that it has a thermostat. This turned out to be exactly what I needed for this space, and now I don't even need an electric blanket. This is even better than an electric blanket. It warms up my whole body, my whole space. Oh, it's just so cozy. I love this thing. I'll leave a link in the description box if you guys want to get your own little heater. Um, I, it was sent from Amazon. It arrived yesterday um, in our um, in our P.O. box and it is uh, from Amazon. I'm not exactly sure what the company is, but I will find it out. 
and um, leave the link below if you guys want to buy one. It's super cool. One thing I love the best about it is that it can go from cold, from hot to cold. So this is good for all seasons. It's amazing. Guess I never really had the chance to speak my mind. Never thought you would hear it. Oh. of green tongue because I was eating candy. Um, we gave the horses the day off yesterday because they have shoes. They got their shoes off. They had their shoes off and they're gonna be like a bit ouchy probably today. Our farrier told us that, it, that the best time, the best time to take horses shoes off for the winter is um, when the ground is all mushy and soft and stuff and it has been because it's been raining. So we just did. Oh, she spies us. She's like interested in us now. Kind of like that equine devil advocate post that I, I uh, um, podcast that I listened to where she made the horse be interested in her. Stella, oh, look at this, you guys. Look. We have interest. Stand at the gate and show her. All right, now we have movement, but my camera's blurry. <laughs> she's gone the other way. What the heck? She's like, Stella. This, this mama does not want to walk through the mud today. Gabby is right by the gate, and Storm was Wait, she so might come. far she might away. Come. She might come. Storm Stella. was so far away. I was like, Gabby, do not. <laughs> Don't take a step further. I'm like, make that, make him come to you. Ah. Okay, he's slow. Slow as molasses. Wait, we have a little more. And then we have Stella, who's just going from one pile of hay to the next. Hey, uh, Stella truly did not fall. Stella, doesn't it make you? Oops, doesn't it make you happy? And if you run, baby, I will follow every time. I show you. Stella, this does not make me happy. Uh, it gets really muddy. I think I'm going to turn back to her halter. No, you bring the halter. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to fall. This is insane. There's no way. Stella, you used to come to us. <laughs> we didn't bring extra pants either. Okay. I'm going halfway. I'm going through the... You bring me her halter. I Guys, I got my purse. Like, how stupid was that? Look, I went right through the middle. And I'm okay. Oh God. Seriously. Sophie, bring me. Listen, you don't get the apple today, Missy. I can't do that. Oh my God. Look, I had an apple for you, but now you don't get it. Good. <laughs> She's afraid to come through the mud because she thinks she's going to fall. Stella's like, I'm not going. This is not like her. Come on. Just try it. Don't run. Don't run. All right. Gosh. Oh! If she stops moving, her feet get sucked in. All right, please. Oh gosh, literally, I'm just praying. Please, God, don't run me over. Don't run. Operation success. These are horses of this. These horses are all like super calm and relaxed. Like this is a super calm, relaxed barn. Now we know where Stella's loyalty lays. First to her friends, and then to food, and then to us. Just like a mare, just like a typical mare. 
Guys, this mayor is being moody like a bear today. Yeah, she was not happy to come with us. So I've been editing videos at home. I've been editing a video. I've been like trying to work on it for days. It's, it's like one of those ones that takes forever to edit. So, um, so I've been kind of like procrastinating, but I'm 65% or 70% done now. And I'm excited to get it finished. But um, I was looking back at a video of Stella when we got her. And this part of her mane was standing straight up. Like probably grew this much since we got her. Like that's a lot, huh? And then this grew. So. I actually got a little shorter. Now remember, our horses got their shoes off for the, for the season. I don't know what you guys do where we live. Um, it's advisable to take them off because you end up using like a bunch of stuff because of the snow and stuff. Like you end up with having to have like pads and some other kind of thing that you have to put inside their shoe to keep the ice out and it just gets really complicated. They're not easy to work with. And um, if the horse's hooves are favorable, then our farrier says, yeah, take them off. Like it's better, it's just a better plan. So, um, for this moody marriage. Well, it's good for her to get used to not having, like the only time she's ever had shoes on is the three months that, uh, three, four months that we've had her. Last time we were here, we weren't done. We were late for our lesson, so kept moving. Kept moving. He's taking off his blanket. Yeah. I just wanted to brush this part. It's weird because sometimes I come here and I'm like, yeah, I'll jump on a horse. I'll ride, I'm all brave. And then there are other days when I come and my heart is like racing and I feel nervous and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to ride today because I'm scared, but then if I go home and I don't ride, then I'm so disappointed in myself and then I miss it. Like, I love the burn of my thighs and my muscles. So, I gotta make a choice and just say, I'm riding, I'm just gonna do it. No matter what happens, I can handle it. I know that I can. God has a plan and I know it's not to die on my horse today, so I'm just gonna do it. Leave them there. 
You'll find it within You'll find it within She might feel the same Get out there, get your shit together Then you can say at least I've tried With the first step Really itching to chase you to the whip. It's always something. There's always something in the way. Million excuses to take. But once you get there, it'll be worth that little while. It's better to try and fall than not to try at all. She might feel the same. Get out there, get your shit together. Then you can say at least I've tried And you're gonna come down here and turn and try over the pole oh, Move on up to let it turn is perfect, it's lovely, he knew I don't quit, Gabby, yeah, open the door right. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna turn I'm getting older With the first step You get to rest to the letter B, so enjoy it. Good job! And walk. 
That was your best set yet. Yeah. I asked him to walk. On my way now. Good. Lovely job. Walking. Good. Now put your right heel on the kick. Hard. It's hard work. What do you think? What cantering? I don't know. How was your mom cantering? <laughs> she was bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> now look up, outside heel, and kick. Go. Turn. Let's look straight ahead. night storm storm's the perfect horse for me like he is really easy to uh, to rise with because he bumps you out of the saddle really well like he's got a really nice rhythm it's easy to keep to it he's like leave me alone while I have my supper hi Stella Stella was a superstar well, today to too because lots of a mess and if they have muddy ho hooves and you bring them in storm is stepping on his hay thank God he had clean hooves so uh, Fiona said that they did not look ouchy at all. Oh, I know. So that's really good. So there's actually a clinic here this weekend, and so we're gonna get to do clinics and stuff. Uh, remember, like that's one of my goals this winter is for us to do some clinics. It's a it's a spook de spook clinic. I'm doing it. What I don't know. Like Kaylee's not doing it. It's not fair to me. Sophie can't go because you have to be 13 or be able to have really good control of your horse, and Sophie does, but. I can't, like, I can it's not like I could go and do it with her. Like, it's just for, I don't know. I don't know how it goes. But, anyways, I don't think we're going to do that one. I yeah, want to do it so bad. We're going to set up, like, noodle thingies where you walk your horse through. Uh, I really want to ride and do it. Now. All right, well, we're going to see. We're going to see if Gabby's going to do it. Stella's the one that needs to do it, though. The other wintertime thing that I really want to do is um, make snow jumps. Like Fiona put it in my head how fun snow jumps are and now I'm like I want to jump in snow I don't want to jump I want them to jump in snow Where are you going, Mom? Home Where's that going? Pizza. Pizza Okay, I'm going to Mom I'm going to Mom Dad, uh, I'm going to Mom 
We're both going with mom. Um, this is the first time I ever rode where my thighs, like they're weak. Like my muscles are like jello. Can hardly walk. So my, my my lesson might not have looked like anything big. My lesson surely doesn't look like anything big. But it was um but it was huge to me because it's never ever ever about competition. It's never ever about who does how high you can jump or how yeah, fast you go. No, it's not. It's about doing no your best and growing and learning each time. Like jumping hikes. It was a nervous lesson for me because I haven't cantered in a long time. And, and people like cantering is scary. And I decided that I was just gonna do it and have fun, and I did, and it was like just a really good lesson. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.